four separate stories, intrinsically woven, four stories pan out, all four chosen for a particular reason, to show us a subtle message for this festive old season. We start with a guy called Zach, and he's a priest. Not the biggest cast in Nativity part, to say the least, but he's there. See, him and his wife Liz were righteous and fair, totally content in life, except for one thing. See, Liz and Zach, they couldn't have offspring. And by this point in the story, well, the thought of conception with the body clock against them, it was just out of the question. Now, Zach's in the temple and this angel makes an entrance just to the right of the burning incense. The angel says to Zach, don't be afraid. Your father in heavens heard the prayer that you prayed. Start kitting out the spare room and make it a nursery. Get carved in the cradle because you're having a baby. What's unearthed in Jesus' birth holds for all eternal worth. Next. A sought-after role in the Nativity is Liz's cousin and her name is Mary. She receives an unexpected angelic meeting and receives an unexpected angelic greeting. Angel Gabriel shows up and catches her off guard. Don't be afraid, says the angel. Don't be alarmed. So bowled over by God's message through the angelic visit, Mary learns that she'll give birth to God's Son through the Spirit. And what's unearthed in Jesus' birth holds for all eternal worth. With his other half pregnant, Joe's calling off the wedding. See, he thinks the love of his life's been in someone else's bedding. But he doesn't flip out, he doesn't cause a riot, he decides it's best to do the dumping on the quiet. But a message in his dream would change the rest of his life. The angel says, don't be afraid of taking Mary as your wife. Because what's unearthed in Jesus' birth holds for all eternal worth. Next, a hilly turf, a sheep and their shearer, where a shepherd looks up and sees an angel appear. The shepherds are stunned from the shock, but still conscious. The angel says to them, it's all right, there's no need to get anxious. Don't be afraid, don't be scared. A king's born in a stable with hay as his bed. For what's unearthed in Jesus' birth holds for all eternal worth. And so we see in each of the stories the same phrase laid, a message from God, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, easy to say, not always easy to be when we're surrounded by pain on hashtag or TV. Because it's not easy in a world where brokenness has thrived. But the truth is, love came to town when a certain baby arrived. Don't be afraid is a softly spoken sentence behind the scenes of the nativity. Don't be afraid, for God's son can break the chains of captivity. He came to restore a relationship that in Eden was once frayed. But his arrival is good news which speaks, do not be afraid afraid.